What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another FM22 tips and tricks video. Today we are talking all about staff, how to find the best staff using a custom view, getting the best staff in your club for the best staff in the division, but also how they impact things on the training field and organizing how your coaches deal with training. If this is something you think will be useful, guys, don't forget to drop a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and ring that bell so you're told each and every time that we upload a video to the channel. Obviously, we are trying to improve everyone's football manager experience and hopefully you can learn a thing or two from these videos. But without any further ado, let's dive into the game. So guys, this is still being recorded on the FM22 beta. The full game has not been released at the time of recording. Um, and we have started a new save here with Tottenham Hotspur. Um, the reason I picked Tottenham, it will be a rebuild on the channel, guys. If you are into your FM22 rebuilds, please do um, keep an eye on the channel because we will be bringing this one out with Spurs at the weekend. Um, so we've taken over at Tottenham. As you can see, we are on the staff screen right now. We have 10 coaching staff, including myself. We have six uh, recruitment team members and nine medical staff. Now, as you can see, the levels are not very good. The yellow line is representative here um, of the best, the highest average in the division. And as you can see, each of these attributes have a, a respective bar. We're not the lowest in the Premier League and in any capacity, but we are by far and away, away from the highest in the Premier League. So these attributes, guys, are goalkeeping, shot stopping. As you can see here, Manchester City are the best in the division. Norwich are the worst, and we are the 14th best in terms of this attribute. You also have goalkeeping handling, which is this one. Goalkeeping distribution. You also have defending, attacking, fitness, mental, technical, um, tactical, and people management. Now, as you can see, guys, we are far and away from the best in any of these categories um, in terms of coaching. And then on the recruitment side of stuff, as you can see, we are missing a lot of we we are missing a lot of staff. As you can see, we've got four out of nine coaches, two out of four performance analysts. Um, no, when we don't have a technical director, we don't have a chief scout. We've only got four out of twelve scouts and one out of five recruitment analysts, and zero out of one loan manager. Then in the medical department, we have nine. Uh, members of staff here, a head physio. Um, we also have a head of sports science and three physios and three sports scientists. Your chief doctor and your doctors, you cannot change these guys, so don't worry about them. If you are at a level where you have doctors at your club, fantastic. If you're not, once you get to a certain level, you will end up with a doctor. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how I transform a club as soon as I come in. I think staffing is very, very underrated in Football Manager um, because obviously you guys see the games that you play, but you don't see how your players develop and how they grow and how they get better off the field and on the training field. And this is largely down to your staff and your level of facilities. Obviously, I'm Tottenham. They've got pretty good facilities, but as you can see, relatively poor staff. So there's not really much they can do with these amazing facilities because the staff are so poor. So what I've done uh, then, everyone, is I've jumped into this game, obviously. We've already started by firing <laughs> by firing some of the members of staff we've already got. Um, we're just going to go through and confirm all of these. I'm just going to advance a split second before we get into this friendly. And as you can see now, guys, we have these current staffing levels. So now because we don't have a lot of coaches in these areas, um, you can see now we now have the lowest in the Premier League, which is which is a worry. But something can be done about this we now have uh, an assistant manager slot we've got seven coaches to work with two performance analysts and then we will do the recruitment and the medical staff as well guys so what you're going to need to do in the first instance is find these members of staff so you're going to need to go over to the staff search tab once you are on here, I am using a custom view to find my staff. This is available from FM Scout. I will leave a link to it down in the description below. It's a fantastic view. Um, follow the steps from that. 
um, that that page on FM Scout, and then you can import it into your game. And as you can see, it it rates everybody by ranking. As you can see, we have five star rated members of staff here. As you can see, though, I do need an assistant manager. So we go onto the new search here, and we search for a specific staff role, coaching assistant manager. So according to the filter, we have this assistant manager here, Angelo Peruzzi. He is a four and a half star rated assistant manager. He looks okay, but this is how we go through and figure out what our staff need to be good at. As you can see, his staff roles here, he is a assistant manager, as you can tell by the green circle here. And the game kindly highlights the attributes that an assistant manager needs. It needs people, man they need people management. They also need judging player ability and judging player potential. So as you can see, he's got attributes here ranging from, uh, they are all 15, sorry, they don't range at all. These attributes range from one as you can see with his goalkeeping handling which means he's not very good at that all the way up to his determination which is 20 and working with youngsters which is 18 20 is the top end of the scale one is the bottom end of the scale there are also other things you will potentially need to bear in mind which are their tactical style their preferred formation and their personality as you can see here Angelo is driven so what we're going to do guys we are going to go through and make sure that we have all of our staff sorted done and dusted and obviously guys this will depend on what level you're you're at depending on what how many coaches you have but try and make sure the balance is right as you can see these are the people that I've kept on obviously you've got myself in the coaching respect as a manager we've kept on our head of youth development I think he was pretty good we've kept on one goalkeeping coach we've kept on one fitness coach and then the rest are performance analysts um, and then in terms of the recruitment, again, much the same here. We've kept the director of football. We've kept three scouts and one recruitment analyst. And then in terms of the medical team, if we click on the medical team here, you can see we've got a chief doctor who I can't change regardless. We've got two additional doctors, again, that I cannot change regardless. And I've kept these guys on. I've kept on the head physio, the head of sports science, uh, these three physios down here, and one final sports scientist. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my head down. I'm going to replenish these staff roles that we are already missing and i'm going to show you what sh your staff screen could look like hopefully we have one of the best in the division i'll be back in a sec right then guys 20 minutes or so of real time have passed and this is now what i am left with at tottenham i have filled all the slots that we have available to us we have a new assistant manager we've got loads of new coaches we filled up the performance analysts the recruitment i'm a little bit disappointed on to be perfectly honest um I've completely refreshed the scouts, added the recruitment analysts, and we're still pretty rubbish compared to the rest of the Premier League. We are above the average. Um, we are above average. We're the third in the Premier League in judging player ability, uh, third in the Premier League for judging player potential, and uh, third in the Prem for analysing data. It would just appear that Manchester United on the recruitment side of stuff are next level. We're above average in terms of the medicals as well, third for physio, and we are second for sports science. And then as you can see, the main one that I focus on is the coaching staff. Um, as you can see now, we have the best goalkeeping, shot stopping, handling, defending, mental and man management in the division, which is fantastic. In terms of goalkeeper distribution, we are second in the Prem behind Manchester United. Attacking, we are third in the Premier League, also behind Manchester United. Fitness, we are third behind Liverpool, who are top. Uh, technical again Manchester United and uh, tactical again Manchester United whilst I will say I have filled up all my slots I always throughout the course of my saves ask for more coaches allowed I'll do it again here and it's oh it's been allowed guys okay we're allowed two more so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do here so we're relatively low in terms of fitness I want to be the best the, the fittest team in the division so what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the staff search we're gonna go on to searching coaching we are going to look for a fitness coach and i will say adding in these as three um, attributes to look for level of discipline determination and motivating is very very good for all staff members so please do consider it um edu pons is someone who i regularly sign as a fitness coach in my rebuild series um, he's got, as I showed you, great determination, great level of discipline, great motivating, along with 18 fitness. So we will sign Edu Pons as well as another coach for us. And I also want to um, make sure we are the best and the fittest team. Uh, so we will look for a, another guy, Antonio Gomez. He looks okay as well. Good level of discipline, good motivating, good determination. He's also the fitness coach for Poland. So let's bring him in. 
so we'll use those two extra slots that we've been given there as fitness coaches but this is what I do guys I fill up my staff I make them as good as possible I try and make them the best in the division and once you see these yellow lines a lot of people will think it's done it's job done uh, uh, and over I'm here to tell you today it is not there is another element of this and that is to do with training so if you click on the training tab over here on the left hand side and then go to coaches this is where your individual components of what you're training working on in training is set up so as you can see guys we've got a uh, a star rating again as fm always does we have a star rating for all of these categories so there's two in defending two in possession two in attacking two in fitness and two in goalkeeping so as you can see we have a five star coach for fitness on quickness uh, but we are lacking in the attacking capacity we only have a three star attacking coach led by troy archibald henville um what i will say he is an under 23s coach as well your under 23s coaches help with the state of training here so if you can employ good first team coaches and you can employ good under 23s coaches or youth team coaches they sort of fill in here as well we're trying to sort out the fitness as well because it's currently being led by ryan mason who is not a fitness coach whereas anthony colbert is some who someone who we have brought in just um former arsenal fitness coach he is exceptional he is coming to do a job and as you can see is he he is a five star uh, rated fitness coach which is why he's in but as you can see here we've got all these different uh facilities here uh, measured by all these different people if you can go into edit coach assignments this brings it up and you can see who is set up to do what guys so as you can see here we've got Rui Barbosa he could be a five star rated goalkeeping coach but because he's splitting his workload over the two here that is why he's only gone down to three and a half stars for both shot stopping and handling one key thing I will mention for you guys here is to try and make sure as many of these are as light as possible coach workload and coach uh, lead coach rating sort of really do dictate how much your players get out of training so make sure you have the best balance here if you want to ask your assistant to assign you can just right click uh, sorry you can just click here ask the assistant to assign it sort of balances everything out as you can see we've got an average section here for possession uh, which we probably would need to work on but everything else is relatively balanced we've got a good star ratings for most of the uh, most of the things across the board and that is how you set up your staff for success in football manager couple this with the training regime that i'll be bringing out very soon and your players will be purring fit as fiddles and ready to go throughout the course of your fm22 journey but that is where i'm going to leave things for today guys if you have enjoyed this video putting together your staff and learning how to get the best out of your staff please do drop a like on the video down below subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and don't forget to ring that bell so you're told each and every time that we upload a video but until next time guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and i'll see you on another one very very soon